planter hooked up and the snow plow on the same day. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. We got the dumpster over here. I got Yanko giving me a hand. Previously, we worked on this um, rebuild kit. I appreciate the Sutherlands. They, they reinforced what I had to do, who I had to call. So we will be in a good place with that. Picking up our waste, and we're actually moving seed in. So this is some of our 2024 seed as far as corn seed going in. Um, it's tough being excited like i'm pumped to plant corn i love corn if you let me show you guys if you don't know i i love growing corn i think it's one of the most rewarding crops to plant because of the rate of growth and <sighs> feeds the world so we got some seedway uh 96 96 um we planted it last year did very well so that's a majority of what's coming from seedway and I'm actually in here getting things organized. So my whole plan was always this milk house. Put a door in there and you can scoop pallets in. But I'm hand moving them in right now. We got to do the floor and do some things. And that's a summer thing. And finding the right door and spending that money. But first variety. So the 96.96 is the 96 day um, variety. We have a 28.40 um with some traits to it that is a 88 day i think 86 day and then we have an 88 88 or yeah 88 88 which is the 80 day so like i said we planted this variety last year did very well on the plots um and that is why it's back and it's got more i'm planting more of it because i i liked how it was are we gonna plant plots this year i don't really know I haven't made it that far. Um, it did give me a good idea on what was good. Um, and as Bob um, from Channel, who we'll see at some point, as he said, we planted some Channel variety and the deer hammered it everywhere. So it was good. It did okay in the plots, but in the fields that I planted it in, the deer hammered it, other plots. No idea why. I did have um a buddy from southern well i guess he he might be virginia actually maryland virginia they planted a few varieties and the deer would go down the strips and they didn't plant them in plots because well they planted it in test strips so half the planter loaded and they could yield map it out the deer went down and destroyed the rows of the one variety but didn't touch the others so it's just things to know like that because if you plant 200 300 acres of that variety and the deer go in and they take away half your yield Hmm. But, alrighty, I'm gonna finish loading all this in. It has been absolutely gorgeous today. And I'll show you guys. The boys are over here. Norman actually got his head stuck in here earlier, which that was the first. I don't know what he was, I think he was trying to get to the snow. Don't worry, we got more snow coming. So, I'd like to get them cleaned up. We gotta get a bale in, and I got a bed um, where they lay down. They're getting a little dirty. And like I said, we got snow coming, which is less than ideal. But let me finish snows what's today monday wednesday snow is coming wednesday thursday into friday possible 13 inches but it went from 20 to that to i think we're getting a half inch rain tomorrow and so on and so on i just but then it turns to 60 so we're gonna go from like that weather to let's go let's go let's go but let me finish throwing these in there and if you had thumbs you could help me okay we'll throw the bucket on and I think we're just gonna push and pile on the corner. Um, that way, we don't throw the 46 on. We don't throw the 46 on just to uh, 
do one quarter little load, but I want to clean up some so that they can. Uh, I want to clean up some so that they can uh, be comfortable when the snow comes in. And I got some bedding hay in there. Plus, we got to move a bale in. But they got me figured out. They got me figured out that uh, I don't have any more grain. And I should have grabbed some today when I was in town. I'll grab either tonight or tomorrow. But I did have two bags on hand because of my away time. So I appreciate Robert and all them for what they helped me out. We're a little tight here in the driveway. And somebody told me I just got to buy a bigger farm. That was a friend that told me that. I said, yeah, I agree. But uh, we're going to make it better this year. We got some stuff lined up here. And honestly, it's because it's so wet. It's gorgeous out, though. I'm wearing the sweatshirt. And honestly, I should be in a t shirt. But I know I'm going to be a little chilly in a t shirt. So, uh, still a swamp out back here. Combine still hasn't taken that off. We still haven't worked on the combine. So, that is a summer project. When it's nice, really nice out, and we can just get to some wrench. Uh, I'll get the gate opened up, back drag all this. I got some bedding inside. I'll show you what I did. The cat, but like I said, the calves know that I don't have any grain. So they're hanging out out here, but I did fill up what was left. But this is what I got. It's a, it's not so good. So let's not talk about that. What is, oh, it's cut on the bolt. Um, fuck. I'll sneak in here. I'll clean up all of this. What's up, Norman? Clean up all this, push it into a pile. It's just gonna be a little, little bit and where they're standing. See, so you guys are a little bit dirty, but it is mud season. And honestly, every day they've had leftover feed. It's pretty nice alfalfa mix, alfalfa grass mix. So I'll sneak through, close the gate, clean up. I might back drag that. I'm gonna do that. That way they're real comfortable. Somebody did say get some spray stuff, uh, disinfectant stuff. I didn't even think about that as far as not lying. Can you guys not escape when I get in the tractor? I do have a cattle dog somewhere, but he's up. Oh, there he is. He was taking a little hiatus there, you know. Okay. okay, we got the barnyard cleaned up a little bit. We got like a half load in the manure spreader. We're just gonna let it sit. There's always somebody that asks, um, you gotta let it, don't you have to let it compost before it's any nutritional nutrient value in the fields? No, but this longer hay definitely doesn't do better. Oh, eh, I should probably get this out of here. Huh. Got caught over here. Oh. Ah. Well, we got most of it out. I don't know what I was doing there. You can't see nothing because the sun's in the way. Oh, there we go. So, alrighty. I'm going to, I'll get this one, but I'll show you what I'm doing. Calves are probably going to. I'll pull it out first and then I'll get that one. So we got this trough here and uh, get that over there. we've been feeding in it and it's been great. This is some of the leftover stuff, some of the stuff from the bale previously. Um, so it's bedding. Some Ooh, uh oh. So I'll pull this out, pull it all out, push it over there, sprinkle it up, and they can use it for bedding. I still got some bedding bales out back. Damascus. I got bedding bales out back and I still got, we got, I think we got seven big bales. So we should be good. This year I do not plan on selling any bales that barn is probably going to be completely full of hay going into 2020 oh fall of 2024 into the winter of 2025 so that is the plan right now and yanko's freaking out 
because there's calves that are running around wild. Little quarter load over there, but all bedded down. Norman's over here eating hay that is bedding hay because they always gotta see how if it's better. But yeah, put this back, go switch, grab a bedding or a feed bale, and we'll be good for the day, right? You guys are looking good. A little dirty. It's mud season. I know you want to go back on pasture. What did you do with your face? <laughs> I don't even want to know. I thought I had seven left for some reason. I believe there's nine and then there's one, two, three, five bedding bells. So, and the Massey's still for sale. So I forget, I think Ed wanted 6,500. Alrighty, we got a bale to slide into the barn. And then we will be, uh, Good for today. The sun's setting. We'll see uh, what tomorrow and the rain brings. We'll probably just be in the shop most of the day, and uh, hopefully we have a good day, right? Maybe we'll get the corn planter hooked up. Seeing as snow's coming. Do, 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 do. Not too bad, still some good color. I don't think there's as much alfalfa in this bale. A lot more grass, but you guys like it? That's what I thought, you're not gonna starve. So, alrighty, well, we'll start feeding out of this one and we got eight more to go. We're gonna get back into this. Got it bondoed. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. Get that sanded down. Stickers and decals are actually done for this. And we got something else for something else. So we're supposed to start getting rain. I'm going to get this hammered out. Hopefully be in a good spot. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll see about the 46 going on the planter. Kind of a two-person job to get those marker arms on. But we're getting along. And then uh, after we get done with rain, it's going to turn into snow. Granted, we were 12 to 18 inches. And now they're looking at like maybe 5 to 7. I said that all maybe five to seven so either way i ordered parts this morning for the pressure washer for the discs what else we ordered for this truck i got stuff coming and i talked to the boys down at hoover's when i was ordering parts for the disc and i said don't rush probably gonna be three weeks before we actually get this thing doing anything um as far as the disc and he goes oh yeah why is that i said well we're supposed to get snow and he said "Ooh." So they're just going to get rain. I think they're getting rain right now. Let me grab the sander and get after it. Alrighty, messing around with this. I got air filters coming for it. Um, so we're good there. It's got the secondary filter in. I'm going to change the fuel filter. I'll get, enough, I'll get two more of these so they're on the shelf. I got to figure out the coolant filter that doesn't have a number. And I got to get an oil filter for it. Um, I would like to tighten up the steering and I'm not sure how to do that or if we're going to just change the steering box. So that is something else. I should do some digging in that. But where we're at over here is uh, we got the crew chief with us now. Got the door painted. Uh, decal is going to go over it so I don't want it perfect because I know if we spend more time it's just going to be a pain. So putting some primer on, we'll get some white on and we'll call it good and Grab the decals tomorrow and throw them on. Doing some truck prep, trying to figure out the steering. And oh, well, I was laying underneath it and Isaiah was turning in. We got a lot of movement here. So that is probably a big part of our why the steering wheel goes all over the place. Um, yeah, so we'll get a new part of that. What'd you figure out it was called? something <laughs> drag link two new filters coming for that so we got a spare change fuel filter even though we've changed fuel filter um well now it's been a year and a half so honestly probably a good time plus we might have had some junk in the tanks from previously um got this bar coming isaiah found that online what did we figure that was called uh, no pressure Steering linkage? 
something like that. Um, air filters are coming both inner and the outer. Got oil filters figured out. Coolant filter, we're gonna have to do some thinking. This is just, it just leaks a little bit, but not enough that you really know. So I had to spin the coolant filter around 1870 Napa number. Um, yeah, there's no number on this, that's why, but I, th I got a list of possibilities. So I'm gonna get backed up, moved out of the way. We are supposed to get snow tomorrow. And I did move the Mac silage truck out of the way. So hopefully we can get everything over there and out of the way here because then we'll be in a lot better. We won't have as much stuff in the way. So if you guys are long time watchers, you'll always know that every time I go over to this truck, I gotta do this weird thing about push holding the door and we fixed it. Wasn't really sure what we were doing because there's no, it's not like an R model where you can take the whole panel out and see what you're doing. Had to take the door tray out. And then that I could convince you to. <laughs> then uh i lubricated absolutely everything up and in there oh there's a door lock no wonder the door lock doesn't work the outside one but now we got it where so no more struggles it's the little things like that now i gotta get this back in which took a little finesse to get it out But we'll get it back in. It's just a, uh, actually. A little bit of lubrication doesn't hurt. It's actually chain lube. Okay. It's like window seals. Which we're, you know, we're pros at that now. Call me for all your window seal needs. I'm giving up on throwing that back in. We're just gonna cut a plate out. The other side has just a normal plate. We won't have anywhere to put all our snacks when we're driving around. <laughs> I got, um, what did I say it was? Nine and three eighths. Nine and three eighths. So then we work off of this, go up to nine and three eighths, and then we line it back up. It ain't gonna be perfect, but we're we're pretty good at what we do. Really, it's nine and three eighths. <laughs> no, it's it's got to be eight and three eighths. Wow, dyslexia. Somebody says I got dementia. I rambled. You think I got dementia? Hey. Well, that's supportive. That's true, you're not. Eight and three eighths. Then I said two foot and five eighths across. Let me draw the top first. I don't think so. Oh. 
It's got to be like nine and a quarter. I don't think so. Because this... I just measured it. This is eight inches. You got to overlap and you got your whole seal that. I'm not doing the seal. The new piece has to cover it without a seal, correct? Correct. It's all packed. Yeah, so that would mean that You think it's gonna fit? <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm welding it in there. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Isaiah's gonna love driving this one. <laughs> now that it's... We're doing all this work for Isaiah, actually. Unless, unless he buys something. He should probably buy something. Oh yeah, baby. A little self-tapper action, we'll call it good. Yep. I guarantee if we kept messing around with that, that probably would have taken way longer. But now we got a panel that we can easily take on and off for the next time we have that issue. The biggest win of the day, well now it's raining. Biggest win of the day. I've owned this truck for Four years, I think now. I, I think four years, and well, we should do some cleaning here. But that's not. It's raining out. Um, and I've always had to mess with the handle to get it open. So I can't thank Isaiah enough for his expertise on getting this job done. Doing a little bit of cleaning up. Got the rope down. Uh, the 4640 is going to go on the corn planter. So it can work its few hours, but uh, yeah, snow is going to come no matter what, and the ground's going to be a mess. I figured probably better off to go get the snow plow and uh, be at least somewhat prepared. But as we see, we are in swamp season. So it's a season that never stops. I am very excited to get into some of these bales that are further in the back because they're even greener to be honest but what do I got one two three four five six seven I thought I had nine for some reason well we got the one in there eight but these are really bedding bales poor quality um, much more sticks and stuff like that but let's get uh, the Massey pulled out we'll throw snow plow on probably should just weld that back on over there um, as far as the skid plate because it doesn't have one actually this one doesn't have anything either so I don't know we'll see if it wants to go <coughs> nah, it's gonna need some summer air she's been sitting and it's been cold I think it's got a plug on it Why do we have a Massey? It's Ed's, it's for sale. If somebody's interested, hit me up. Like I said, just needs a little bit 
the summer air. Get mass, you guys. Got the snow plow on, so that's where it broke off right there. I don't know if we're gonna fix it or not at this moment. Hopefully it doesn't take out a post. But uh yeah, hook the Massey up. We're gonna probably get ready for 2024 mud season. I think it will pull up maybe some front weights. It'll be pretty good. It should pull it. It should be good. Yeah. What could go wrong? I guess we broke that board already. But it's still above the ground, which is good. But just gotta drop the uh, just gotta put the hammer strap on and then we'll be good to go. We're just gonna re-weld that on quick. We've got the crew chief teaching me how to go and do things and uh was it dead? Yeah. I gave him a good battery and killed it already. So I'm gonna get the welder rocking and rolling. The other side doesn't have anything on it really. Um, I'll walk around and show you guys that. But I figured because this big snowstorm coming in, we should give it a little bit of effort. Right, bud? Nice ball. Good. So it used to have a shoe on it at some point, but I'm no plow guy. You're no plow guy? No plow guy. You gotta put some on the top, some on the bottom. The other side's like that. I don't know. I'm not a snowplow guy. All right, you do that. I'm going to start the 46. Just hooking the corn planter up. That that way we can tell everybody we got the corn planter hooked up and the snowplow on the same day. Kind of be like Eric Mattis there. We can put the 40 hours we did last year. Probably less, honestly, on this thing. Hopefully we're in a better boat. Oh, uh, now we're just showing off the high for horsepower 4640. I think Duffy might actually go out and plant some corn next week. Take the snowplow off the one tractor and put the planter on the other. Plant. Fourth best planter set up. Fourth best planter set up. Right behind. I don't know. Who should we? Who, we should have a ranking this year. This spring we'll go around. We'll film everybody's planter setups and yeah. We'll get some expectations of it. We got quite a list of people. There is a new guy in town that's. It's a hot mm -hmm. unit. All he needs is tin. So this year we got the rainbow colors, right? Yeah. We got a couple greens. A lot of greens. Only the best. A few blues. 
The blues are hard to beat. Ah, uh, the blue planters are hard to beat. Oh, threw a curveball into it. Uh, oh, boy. But, you know, can't beat a deer. Then there's the red ones. There is a few reds. A couple of yellows. Maybe we'll interview you in a red one. Yeah. A couple yeah. big, big green ones. A lot of big green ones. Yeah. Yeah. A couple big green ones. There we go. We're, we're just we're just small guys. We do gotta fix the names on the boxes, so gotta get somebody with good hand to do that up. We are I gotta phase through everything. Yeah, we're, we're good. We got, almost ready to go. We got some parallel arms, cushions to do, we got the marker arms, and we're still working on the fertilizer. So and that's probably where we're gonna be for this year. Thought about doing some more stuff, but honestly, $4 corn really scares me. And you can buy a 12 row or a 24 row planter for not that much money. Mm. Old eight row is gonna get us through. Mm. Or do you see I'm leaking something? <laughs> what am I leaking already? Cylinder? Uh. Yeah, it's unhappy right here. That's okay. We've rebuilt them. It's got to get phased through. That's the biggest issue right now that it was very unhappy with lifting up. It's, it's a little taller on that one right now, but it's there. All right, appreciate you guys watching. Me and Isaiah are gonna go get some dinner. Like, follow, subscribe. Like, we'll follow, see subscribe. you on the next one. See you on the next one.